Alright, what is going on guys and girls? My name is Cameron and today I am going to be doing another custom title bar tutorial for Electron JS. So um, just to get things kicked off here, you can do this exactly the same way that we did in the last tutorial. Uh, I'm just going to be highlighting uh, one of the other options that Mac uh, Mac OS gives you over this. Um, it is a little more work. Uh, to have to account for multiple operating systems, but at the end of the day, uh, if you're really looking for like user experience uh, and an improving user experience, uh, I think this is the way to go considering uh, normally your traffic lights are over here and this is what they look like, uh, whereas in our case, it's over here and uh, yeah, it's just a little wonky considering your, uh, your user probably, if they're on a Mac, they're not going to be used to this. So uh, let me just show you uh, in, let me open up, file, open recent, open this up. Uh, in order to get this working, we should have done this in the last tutorial, but it didn't run and I wasn't paying attention. Um, in order to get this to work on uh, Mac OS, you would need to change this, or add this line to import app in, uh, from Electron, uh, which, we would then use here, which we it did. This didn't get run because we weren't on the right platform before. Uh, so that's how you would uh, that would that would be all you would do that would be uh, different and really wouldn't even be different. Uh, you really should have done that to begin with, but I'm silly and didn't uh, didn't account for that. So that's how you would do it if you wanted to make make it all the same across every platform and you uh, you didn't really care about the traffic lights. Uh, but if you do. What we're going to be doing today is we are actually going to be taking uh, Electron Quick Start instance. Uh, we're going to be taking the same thing that we started with in the last video uh, and migrating to uh, basically using our traffic light still. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to come into main.js and I'm going to highlight a couple of uh, different options that you have. So the first thing that you need to do, or the first thing that you can do is you can do title bar style which you're like, that was super easy and informative, uh, and do hidden, right? So obviously this isn't going to do anything because we made a change in our main process. So we want to go ahead and do yarn start again, reload the app, and there you go. So that, that gets removed, right? So the title bar gets removed, it's blank, there's no title up here, uh, and then, but you still have your traffic lights. Uh, and if you notice, this is similar to uh, how VS Code has theirs, how they have their... Uh, traffic lights, but maybe you want more like Hyper, where you have a little lower. In order to do that, all you have to do is instead of doing hidden, you can do hidden inset. Close this out, try running it again. It's yarn start, not yarn dev. Habits. And there you go. So it's a little lower. Maybe that looks a little better to you. Um, it's all up to you. For this video though, we're just going to be sticking with hidden. Uh, as I said before, we have to do yarn start again. There we go. And we're going to be doing that. And because there's really no functionality that we have to really reproduce in this video uh, with the buttons, what we're going to go ahead and do is we are going to just uh, add a little style to this, right? So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to hop in and we're going to uh, kind of format what we have here, right? So we're going to give it a wrapper, a wrapper div. Uh, what we already have, this this content that we already have, we're going to give that a wrapper div, and we're going to give that a class of app container. And we're going to go ahead and create a new div, call that title bar. There we go. And then we are going to generate another div, which we're not even going to give a class. Uh, we're just generating it for formatting. There we go. Uh, and we're going to tab that in. Okay, so now that we've done that, what we need to go ahead and do is we need to go ahead and do link ref rel ref rel style sheet and then href equals home.css, which we have yet to create. We are going to do that now. So create a new file home.css. There we go. And the first thing that we need to do is we need to overwrite 
the body in HTML with width of 100%, height of 100%, and then we're going to make sure that there's no margins preset, no padding preset. We're going to then go ahead and set the background color of the whole app to white. There we go. So now if we come back, we reload the app, boom, there's no padding. Uh, we should be taking up all, all of the app, uh, and you notice that everything's white uh, and all the padding's gone. So that's pretty cool, but not exactly what we want to do. Uh, so we're going to do app container. Now we're going to do display. Uh, we're going to before I do that, let's go ahead and style the title bar. So it's title bar, title bar. We're going to go ahead and do width 100%, height 3%, background color. And I'm going to do 30, 30, 30. There we go. Reload. Nothing happens. Why did nothing happen? Because we aren't we we are not able to display our title bar based off of percentages because its container has no has nothing uh, in it. So let's go ahead and we are going to do app container. We need to do uh, width 100%, height 100%. There we go. Reload that. And that's it's getting better, right? So that's that's a little closer. Um, and one thing that you'll also notice is that we can't actually drag the app around. So we we may want to change that here in just a minute. Um, one thing I am going to do though is I'm going to ensure that anything that we do, uh, we're for sure going to have our title bar above everything else and like all our contents in the app. So we're going to do display, flex, and we're going to do flex, uh, direction, column, there we go. And, you'll, and so it doesn't look like we did much, but this ensures that this will always be above any of the contents that are down here, as long as those contents go inside of this div. And we can actually go ahead and give that a class as well, just so that you guys can see that. So app contents, there we go. We may not use it, but that's okay. Uh, and so for this, like we could pump this back, or we could pump this up to four percent. Uh, so that looks a little better. Uh, but like I said, one thing that we do need for sure to do is make this to where it's draggable. Uh, so what we can do is let's drop down, go WebKit, App Region, Drag. There we go. So that ensures that if I do a reload, we can actually drag the window around, which is super, super nice. And then basically anything that you put up here in the title bar, uh, you're going to want to put like, no, uh, I think it's no drag. Let's see, uh, it should tell me here. Okay, or it could not. Yeah, I think it's like no drag, but you can look the documentation up on that as well. Uh, just so that like, you can drag the title bar, but anything else might be interactable if you have something up here. Uh, so that's that's pretty neat. Um, re really, really cool that you can do that, and you can apply your own style if you do the other uh, hidden inset as well. Uh, it's just going to be a little different on, on your height, basically. Uh, so yeah, that, that's pretty much all that I have for you in this video. Uh, basically just breaking down how you can uh, how you can style your own title bar if you choose to keep the uh, the in or the Mac OS traffic lights um, and if there's anything else that you guys can think of that maybe I didn't cover or you'd like to hear more about in this topic uh, definitely leave that down in the comments below uh, if you like the video hit that like button subscribe I do this or I'm trying to do this stuff more and more uh, I have a real big passion for Electron. I use it every day. So, uh, yeah. Thanks, guys. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next video.